Hi, how are you? I'm Dr. Franco Colombo in chiropractic and nutrition, and today we're going to show you how we trained Stallone for Rambo 2. When I came to the United States, I started training together with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and we trained for competition for the Mr. Universe, Mr. Olympia, and in 1974, I went to chiropractic college, and then when I graduated in 1977, Sly Stallone came to me as a chiropractic patient, which I used to work on him to fix his uh, injuries when he, he did a lot of training before. And the time I met him was when he was finishing Rocky One. And then Sly did Rambo One, with Karolko. Ah! Andy Vanya was the producer, which I knew Andy Vanya from before. And um, then Sly Stallone and Andy Vanya, they approached me to train him for Rambo II because they wanted him to be bigger. producer of Rambo 2, he called me and says, Franco, I want to meet with you. I said, fine. He says, uh, come over. He came over to the house and actually brought me a picture that he took from a magazine, from Muscle and Fitness magazine. And he says, Franco, can Sly Stallone look like this? I say, yes. I said, but how long? He says, we got only seven to eight weeks time. And I looked at it, and you know, he has a lot of good abdominals, good chest, but not too big. And I said, but this is much bigger than Stallone used to look like for Rambo One. And he says, yes, we have in the script that he's 10 pounds heavier to 15 pounds. I said, okay, what about if he doesn't get to look like that. And he says, oh, I will fire him. I said, wow, you know? <laughs> For the arms, we do tricep and bicep together. You can be standing here, way back here. You lean back and you do this. Okay, so let's do it. The reason why this is more weight because you're doing both hands in one, like this. Perfect, go and keep doing it. This is the best way to do it. You keep the elbows back, that even when he's up here, hold it up, he's still under tension. The next exercise, as I told you before, we do tricep and bicep together, superset they call it. We did the tricep and the next one is dumbbell curls, pick up these weights and sit down on the incline bench, like this, and I get the hands down and turn as you go up. Do 10 reps, nice. Okay, really feel it, like that, okay? Feel the bicep. Perfect. As you see, turning the hand is very good not to get injuries in the elbow. This is very important. Now we're going to combine a second exercise also for the tricep and bicep. The second one will be the bench can be flat, like this. Bring the head down, and now bring the elbows up, like this. And now, from down, you bring them up like this. Do tricep, go.
Then as soon as you're done, you come up and no rest in between because we are training for definition to lose body fat and get muscles. Then we do the sitting dumbbell curves. Okay, perfect. All the way up and all the way down. Instead of doing the incline dumbbell curls, now we are doing it regular seating. It's really, really important to superset. So we got two exercises for the tricep. Now I'm gonna show you an extra one, the tricep, you can go back and do it standing, then up and down. You can do that one, same way, 10 reps, you know, all the way down, always all the way down and all the way up. No, no half exercise. And no rest in between. The minute you're done, bring it here and do the curls. Curl. Like, nice, feel it. As you see, he's doing it really good. You have to see this being tense, flexed as you do it, okay? So we need to get to the next exercise, which is forearm. People don't do forearm, but the forearm is very important for good looks and for grip. And the way we do the forearm, there are two ways to do it. One way is all the way down, and an anger up and down. Feel it, really feel it here. Okay, this is really important. We are training this side and this side. And you can see immediately the pump like that, how it comes out. This could be the second exercise. If you have a thin forearm, you should really do both of them. And this is in and out. Okay, go. Out, in. Usually after the training, when we do the entire upper body, we tense, we take sometimes the shirt off and we tense a little bit to show the arm, you know, show the arm. The flexing of the arm after the training stimulates growth and also burns calories. There was a phone call from Sly, says Franco. I said, what? It's an emergency. I said, an emergency? I said, maybe he hurt his back, training or doing something. And I said, okay, I can meet you in the office in five minutes, because my house is close to the office. And he said, no, I want to meet you at the house. I said, okay. So I waited for him. And the minute we got there, he says, I want to train with you and we can start right now. I say, Sly, right now? I say, we start the next week, Monday. This is like Thursday or Friday. He says, no, right now. And I guess in the one had a meeting with, with him and maybe all the producers and said, look, this is it. This is how you have to be. This one is called flies. It will open up way down the elbow and up this way, okay? So do 10 repetitions. Okay, all the way down and together on top. Go even lower. Perfect, go. Very dynamic. You can put the head down while you're doing and relax that and do the chest, concentrate on the chest. This is the middle of the chest. And usually we do 10 reps for this.
Good. The next exercise is the incline bench. Now, we do it this way. Same way. Down and on top together. Go. Really low come down in the everyday elbows and really feel it in the upper chest. And after you pump up, you can take the scissors and cut them off and then you can see the chest. All the way down. Now come up. Sit there, stay. We're gonna do even higher. And this is even higher. And this one, we can put it this way. And now, together on top. And all the way down. And on top. Two, go. Three, four, five, all the way down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Come up. The flat bench is for the lower part of the chest. The incline and 45 degree angle is for the middle part of the chest. And I was very famous in having the best upper chest than anybody, which my discovery was to make the bench even higher. And that will get the, really the top part and the front deltoid because it's really high angle. Very important that. Sly is a great script writer. So when they took the rainbow to script, Sly rewrote scenes. One of them was, it was a scene that he was tied up against the wall like this, and he had to show all his shape, the abdominals and everything, without the shirt. And to them, it's like, okay, you without the shirt, then you have to look like this. Sly almost got himself in trouble that way. So I said, you know what? Let's go to the gym. We just walk in the backyard. I have a garage and we have a little cement patio, like similar to this, set up here. Very, not too, not too much equipment. And we start training. Then I say, okay, the, my time works this way. I have to set up the time as to be every day at the same time, the workout. I said, tell me right now. And he says, okay, Frank, what about four o'clock? Done. Then we start. <laughs> 